All right, listen up. History buffs and war enthusiasts, buckle up, because we're diving deep into the Battle of Drewback Sound. This wasn't your typical World War II clash, folks. This was 1940, just as everyone thought this whole war thing was a big snooze fest, the phony war. But hold on a sec, things are about to get real. Enter the Germans, all smug with their powerful Blöcker warship, sailing towards Norway to capture Oslo. Easy peasy, right? Wrong. Turns out, a seemingly ordinary place called the Oskarsborg Fortress had a secret weapon up its sleeve, an oldie but goodie artillery battery. Talk about unexpected heroes, am I right? This battle is what shattered the phony war illusion and kicked off the real fight in Western Europe. So, if you're ready to witness a dramatic turning point in history, smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss this. The Battle of Drewback Sound, the end of the phony war. The Battle of Drewback Sound on April 9th, 1940, marked a turning point in World War II. It signified the end of the so-called phony war and the beginning of large-scale fighting in Western Europe. A German fleet led by the powerful new cruiser Blücher approached Drewback Sound with the intention of invading Norway. This region was strategically crucial for Norway's naval defence, and capturing it would allow the Germans to occupy Oslo and potentially capture King Haakon VII. However, unbeknownst to the Germans, the nearby Oskarsborg fortress held a secret weapon, an old yet powerful artillery battery. The German fleet sailed into a deadly trap. The Phony War the Phony War was a period between September 1939, when Germany invaded Poland, and April 1940, during which there were few major military operations on the Western Front. However, Germany was secretly planning a massive offensive against several European countries. Operation Wieserübung and the Blücher. Operation. Wieserübung was Germany's first major attack in Western Europe targeting Denmark and Norway. The first phase of the operation aimed to capture Oslo by air and sea and to capture King Haakon. The Blücher, the second ship in the Admiral Hipper class of cruisers, was the most powerful vessel of its kind at the time. Launched in September 1939, it was designed to lead other ships into battle. Named after a Prussian military leader, the Blücher was completed just days before the invasion of Norway. The Battle of Drewback Sound would be the Blücher's first and final fight. The sinking of the Blücher, a turning point in WWA. The Blücher and its mission. The German cruiser. Blücher, assigned to a task force invading Norway on April 9, 1940, was designated as the flagship for Admiral Kumitz. The ship carried over a thousand soldiers, many belonging to the 163rd Infantry Division, who were intended to capture Oslo on foot. Accompanied by other warships, the Blücher led the flotilla towards Oslo through the narrow Drewback Sound, the secret weapon of Oskarsborg Fortress. Unbeknownst to the Germans, the seemingly outdated, Oskarsborg Fortress guarding the Sound held a hidden weapon a torpedo battery installed in 1901. Though old, the battery remained operational and could launch torpedoes from underwater tunnels. Surprise attack. As night fell, the Bleicher and its companions entered Drewback Sound. Despite tensions in Europe, Colonel Ericsson, in charge of the fort's lookouts, lacked clear instructions on how to handle approaching warships, given Norway's neutrality. However, Upon spotting the unidentified fleet, he alerted the fortress of a potential attack. With most soldiers being new recruits, the element of surprise became crucial. The fortress extinguished its lights, making it invisible, and Commander Anderson was transported to the torpedo battery. Ericsson, disregarding Norway's supposed neutrality, ordered an attack on the approaching flagship, fearing potential consequences later. Either I will be decorated, or I will be court-martialed, 
the battle and the Blucher's demise. The initial shots missed the Blucher, but alerted the Germans. As the fleet continued deeper into the narrows, the fortress opened fire. The first shell struck the cruiser's side, knocking out its main rangefinder. The second, more significant hit, struck the hangar, destroying seaplanes. Despite taking fire, the Blucher continued its advance. The fortress also targeted other accompanying vessels, while the Blucher's return fire proved ineffective due to its guns being aimed too high. The situation worsened for the Germans as a three-torpedo salvo from the fortress struck the Blucher's boiler room, knocking out power and causing significant flooding. Confused and amidst the growing fire, the Blucher crew struggled. The ship lost manoeuvrability and eventually anchored as a sign of surrender. As the fire raged out of control, the crew sang the German national anthem, revealing their identity to the Norwegians. The burning Blucher ignited its fuel stores, forcing the crew to abandon ship. Hundreds jumped into the icy water, many suffering injuries from leaking oil that caught fire. By 6.22 a.m., the once mighty Blucher sank to the bottom of the sound, leaving only an oil slick on the surface. Aftermath and significance. Over a thousand German survivors were captured and lightly guarded by the Norwegians. This crucial delay allowed the Norwegian royal family, cabinet, parliament, and national gold reservists to escape safely. The Germans, believing the Blücher had struck Minus, retreated. They then launched a land invasion, capturing Oslo the next day and occupying other towns. Despite the initial success, the sinking of the Blücher had a lasting impact. Legacy. The Battle of Drubak Sound was a major setback for the Germans, claiming around 800 lives, including highly trained soldiers. This unexpected defeat by an old fortress and young recruits proved that even outdated weaponry in the hands of determined defenders could be effective. The wreck of the Blücher still lies on the seabed, designated a war memorial in 2016. This battle marked a turning point in World War EE, demonstrating that resistance against seemingly overwhelming forces was possible. All right, folks, that's the story of the Blücher's Fiery Demis in the Drobak Sound. It was a battle that shocked the world, proving that even outgated defences in the hands of brave souls can stand tall against seemingly overwhelming odds. The wreck of the Blücher still lies silent beneath the waves, a sombre reminder of the human cost of war and the unwavering spirit of resistance. If you enjoyed this historical dive, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more stories from the past. Until next time, take care. Thank you for watching.